Well, when you walk into the Arts Center, um, it's not uncommon for you to see Dorothy Ice, Thelma Forrest, Jane Austey, Lisa Rutherford. I mean, just an amazing um, group of artists uh, of all different backgrounds, different mediums that they specialize in. This is a place to learn, a place to expand your knowledge. It doesn't matter if your focus is on traditional or cultural or contemporary art forms. You ha there's a place for you here. Um, it's an experience. It's, it's something like, uh, it's hard to explain, but when you're here, um, you are always expanding your creativity and always learning something new. And it's just a really great, you know, place to be if that's what you want to focus on. I mean, that's part of the, the allure to the Cherokee Arts Center is the ability to be creative with your fellow artists and learn from each other. It's also a great place for if you are an entrepreneur or an artpreneur is like what I would like to call it. And if you were trying to develop a business with art. The Cherokee Arts Center is a place where you can come to find equipment um, that is typically hard to have on your own, to multi-purpose rooms or facilities to where you can teach classes online. The history of the Cherokee Arts Center is started out as an entrepreneur uh, project, you know, for artists to come in and to find the equipment that they need to start an art business, to to learn from each other, to have a studio space to where they could create their art, and it is still very much that. But I think what it has transformed into and where the potential is for new artists uh, going forward is the ability just for that melting pot of, you know, knowledge, hundreds of years uh, of knowledge, you know, about the ancient art forms of the Cherokee people and the ability to just come in here and within 30 minutes, you just feel like you're involved in it and you can get right to work on whatever kind of art that you want to, to pursue. So we have monthly classes here at the Art Center. We, we have business coaches um, through the Commerce Department that will help. We have an artist lending program. The resources are there. I mean, if you are interested in art, this is the place to be because we have the resources and you have the equipment and everything at your fingertips to be able to pursue whatever you want to pursue. Um, rather that be an ancient art form or something more contemporary. We try to focus on the arts that are, you know, it's just like Cherokee language. You know, there are parts of the Cherokee language that are having to be revived right now. And it's the same with Cherokee art forms and traditions. When we are trying to put together workshops, like we have three great workshops coming up this summer, um, you know, with Jane Austey, Betty Frog, and Tanya Weevil. We're focusing on those things because there's so few people that still do them. And so what we're trying to do is develop the people who can teach these and carry on these traditions into the future. We're really transforming this area into a hub. It's an artistic hub. So you have the court mall with the spider gallery and the gallery shop where you can actually purchase artwork and purchase smaller, you know, easier to carry arts and crafts and that type of thing. And then you have the Kawi Cafe, which, you know, is serves, you know, is part is a Cherokee Nation program itself, you know. Um, and then you have the new, brand new Cherokee Cultural Art Park and Pathway project that's going to connect the Supreme Court building to the jail, the prison museum, and um, and then the, it, the art center is right there as well. So we're creating a destination down here, um, and I'm excited about it because the potential to just be in one spot and be surrounded by your peers who love the same things you do, it's a great opportunity to foster that growth and really kind of just develop the arts. So I'm looking forward to the future.